what's up guys welcome back to mr tech boss and in this video i'm going to talk about one of the problems that you have with the otg cable if you use it with your android of course the dji spark and uh, only if you use it with your android um yeah so in the video actually i'm not sure about ios but um, i made the in the first part after the i made this uh, clip after the um, after making the other part of the video with your of course your dji spark uh, there's a problem as you may have noticed that it doesn't show up the battery and, and uh, details and stuff like that so without any further ado uh, okay obviously i'm going to show you how to fix it so without any further ado let's get right in oops okay so as, uh, as you can see um i'll just turn on my dji spark and it's gonna make a noise boop 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 and then um, uh, here it drone itself and this is the OTG cable that I'm using it, uh, this OTG cable is really good and I think there's nothing wrong with the OTG cable instead it's just a firmware update in the latest version uh, I don't think they I think they just uh, DJI just disabled that for some weird reason so I'm just gonna put up my phone right here where it is perfect and then it's going to take some time so now as you can see it's um this light right here is green and that indicates that this thing is connected so um let me increase the height of the camera so yeah so here as you can see i'm going to use this cable right here it's a micro usb cable i'm going to connect it with my um uh, with this one uh, with the end uh, of uh, the OTG and then this thing is going to go connected up oops connected up right here boom and then um, what I'm going to do is plug this end right here into the drone I mean <laughs> into the controller because that's what we're supposed to do right and then it should automatically launch the application which it um, does as you can see it does take some time but it does launch it pro so there we go oh, what is this? this is good. so here as you can see it does say connected let me turn off the rotate off thingy so as you can see it does say connected wait let me oh so yeah as you can see wait let me focus on to this and let me decrease the brightness here so um and here as you can see i'm uh, i'll just turn off my wi-fi right here and then here it still says connected so what i'm gonna do and tap on go fly and there we go it opens up so now what the problem is let me increase the brightness up again because now it's a bit too dim so here as you can see the main problem the drone works just fine I can fly it, no problems. The view is perfect. This is me right here, and this is my setup right here going around. And there we go, the setup all around. So everything is perfect, but if you are, oh, well, it's a bit, my, my OTG is a bit loose, but that doesn't matter. So here, as you can see right up here on that corner, the battery status not available. The flight mode not available. GPS obviously won't be available because I'm inside. And yeah, that's the main reason. You will not have anything, any information about the battery or um, uh, here the uh, this uh, the which mode you're in. And now if I if I do turn into sports mode, it doesn't even say sports mode. But everything else works just fine. So let me show you. Everything else works just fine, and I'll be right back. Okay, so guys, as you can see, um, connected and still it says uh, not available and as you can see i'm in fact connected with the otg and i'm not connected with the wi-fi there so i'm going to fly this thing and i'm going to show you exactly that everything works fine there and i'm still in there there as you can see it works no problems no problems with that but here as you can see it still says not available so let me just bring it down and yeah that's it my parents were sleeping so as you can see it still says not available and yeah I just turned off this way let me turn that back on 
um yeah here i want that enabled so yeah so as you can see it still says not available so that's really important that information is really important it's one of the most important information that i do not recommend you to you guys to fly it uh, without that as you can see everything else works perfectly fine I kept this far down, camera down, everything else works. This is the only problem. I hope DJI fixes this. And yeah, as you guys can see, this is my dad's iPhone. Oops. Let me just close the door. And uh, yeah, let me just disconnect my um, Android smartphone. And this wire is this wire that I was testing. And this wire is an anchor. It's like an anchor wire. It's made up. Uh, the anchor is the company that made this thing. Let me just make focus it yeah as you can see and then here if i plug it back onto the this thing i'm not sure about android uh i'm in, I'm in ios so let's see as you can see it does pull open and it does say this accessory may not be supported but still if you do go to the dji 4 app don't get confused with that wire that was also an actual wire so yeah as you can see it um it um ignore uh, let me just turn off Wi-Fi there we go it's turned off as you can see on iOS it works perfectly fine it shows the battery level and everything else so iOS this wire is perfect Android this is bullshit so if I hadn't my this iPhone would have been mine I would definitely use the wire because I don't like using the Wi-Fi because it does it it has a little a few milliseconds more really latency if you happen to have an iPhone definitely buy a, an OTG cable for you and as you can see there's nothing wrong with the OTG and it's just the software that they have optimized for the Android it does not work on Android so here it does work perfectly let me show you I'm not connected with the Wi-Fi here um, boom and um, as you can see it was just um, turned off uh, there we go it's turned off this is an iPhone 7 plus so yeah just keep that in mind so it will work in older iPhones as well so yeah here we go a 60% charge and yeah that's it okay so guys now um, okay um, so now um, uh, the time um, it's time to fix it so all you need to do is go ahead and uninstall your old one uh, and just uninstall it um, because that's the latest version and then all, what you need to do is go ahead here Google and I'm going to link this page down in the description uh, link the page uh, link that website the link this website right whoa whoa let me just connect to Wi-Fi uh, I'm just gonna you will need to download an old older version of uh, this website uh, this thing DJI go for so yeah here it is this is the file right here let me zoom in here there we go it's the version 1 4.4.15 so there we go once you have installed it and set it all up as you can see uh, it says here rc connected and once you tap go fly there you go it's 100 percent working and uh, yeah nothing else this thing works there we go everything else works so yeah uh, um, yeah and there's nothing else so yeah please don't forget to like so yeah this is for that i'm with promise to tech boss and i'm signing off and guys uh, real quick um i just wanted to inform you guys that i've created a group uh, a telegram group uh, feel free to join it i'm going to link it down in the description below so yeah you can feel uh, if you want to join it's called mr tech boss but i'm going to link it today i'm going to link it down in the description below so if you want to join feel free to do that and bye